guys, this is Brandon. Welcome back to Caesar Chronic. It's uh it's been a minute since I did did my last video. Um I am going to be reviewing the Aris Tech Tick today. It uh I actually bought this. I didn't have any intentions of doing a review. I just bought it because I needed it. And uh and I really like it. And uh I got it for like twenty one fifty at a, a local shop. It uh is five button click on and it has three settings. The lowest is green. three clicks to change the temperature settings or the voltage settings oh shit hold on shit hold on i preheated by accident And then the highest is the red. Um, I really like the I like I really like having the cap to go over the cartridge, but it's actually more of a nuisance than it is helpful. Um, it seems like it gets in the way, and as you saw right then, it just kind of flipped over itself. So, um, but it is a powerful little device. I don't know what setting is on right now. Oh, that's why. I'm going to go back to green. Um, two button to preheat. And it'll give you... And then when it turns green, hit it. And I'm going to let it go go all the way through and I'm not gonna <coughs> I'm not gonna uh, hit it when it turns green so um, after it turns green that's when it starts cooling down and it'll eventually go through um, blue purple and it'll get to a red and that's when it's not heat it up anymore all right the um, the cartridge goes in by magnetic connection it has a um, a short one that's on there right now it just unscrews and the uh, cut in edges Those little notches those when you screw those on the bottom of the tank that's where your airflow comes through I messed up and I was wondering what was wrong what I was doing wrong and I had the fucking thing uh, on backwards and I wasn't getting the airflow <clears throat> um, the cartridge I'm using is a white rhino and um, its legitimacy is unknown as a lot of people who live in conflicted areas about marijuana know that it's a crapshoot so this one seems to be working pretty dang good <clears throat> it also comes with a longer magnetic adapter for the shorter uh, cartridges and it also comes with a small white USB. They say to use the USB that's sent with it because it's it will get you the most out of the battery and it won't overcharge it or run it down. 
So I recommend using that one. Um, most people just use whatever they have for laying around. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty uh, small but small but powerful device. Um, so yeah, my next my next review um, will be as soon as I am able to get some concentrate. I have this uh, sour diesel terpene blend from Sweet Terps. Um, it smells, it smells absolutely amazing. If my wife wouldn't kill me, I'd put this in the old diffuser, but it would smell like a big old fat nugget. And she is very gracious and allows me to do this. So I'm not going to push any buttons. All right, that is going to do it for me today. I am going to get off here and I will see y'all soon. I wanted to add one more thing. Um, Y'all need to go check out Sweet Terps. Um, they have a bunch of different strain profiles. Um, I had a card that came with the terpenes in the mail. Um, and the, when I say terpenes, I mean like there's no, it's just the the profile, like the flavor profile and the, the natural plant terpenes. There's a uh, there's no THC, no CBD. It just helps. Um, it gives the same effects as something would without being high. But um, it's uh, it's a lot like making um, the uh, the vape cartridges that you mix with, like the EJ mix, uh, like wax liquidizer, herbal suspension. Um, those are all some that I, some of them that I've used. Um, but it works, it works like it, but you use, end up using a lot less to make it with. And then you still add a little bit of your other mix, like the EJ mix or herbal suspensions or wax liquidizer. Um, you just add a little bit of that, preferably flavorless, as not to mess up the flavor of the strain profile you have from the terpenes. But, um... But yeah, I will get a video on that one as soon as I can. All right, thank y'all. See you later.